Hello, welcome to the show. My name is Tim Spires, and we're looking at uh, how to use Restream. I'm running this series at the moment. So this week, we're just going to look at some of the more advanced features of how to use graphics and video clips um, to make your um, stream a little bit more engaging. So let's just dive in and see how that looks. I'm going to share my screen like so, which of course will get these multi screens. So I'm just going to bring up this bit of software here. Now, uh, if you look on the right hand side here, you've got backgrounds at the bottom. So you can drop backgrounds in the way they work is if you've got a group of uh, people all uh, on the video stream, then you can put in a background behind them. So that's really handy. Um, and then just above that here, we've got video clips. So you can use um, video clips that are already there within the software, which um, kind of interesting. They do have the countdown timer here. So that's really handy. Um, as you go live, you click that so your viewers will see the countdown. And then you see this plus button. This is where you can add your videos. Uh, and then um, play them live during your uh, stream. So here I've got my video software that I'm just showing in the window here, uh, just so you don't see my window within window, which is a bit crazy and distracting. And I've just created my um, video clip here. So this is really handy if you're creating uh, an intro or you want a little video stinger in there or uh, you might just want to upload some video content that you'll be discussing and you want to play it. Um, so a couple of things to remember when you've created your video is when you go to export, you can do this in higher quality. So we're going to export at full 1080p. Uh, a thing to watch out for is the file size. This file is just um, going to be 55 megabytes, which is fine. Uh, the limit here is 300 megabytes um, when you're uploading it into the software here to, to play it. So just bear that in mind. Um, now, I've already exported this file and uh, imported it into uh, Restream. So let's just... Uh, have a look how that would work. So I just click this plus button here and um, I will be uploading from my computer. So I've already done that as I say, so I'm just gonna stop sharing my screen for a moment and we can now um, look at how this might work. So I'll just click show Okay, there we have it. That was meant to be my six second example stinger, um, which I was working on at the beginning of the week. And um, it kind of turned into like a 25 second promo video. Um, feeling a bit low, I was enjoying uh, the creative process. So I'm like, this is healthy and healing. I'm just gonna crack on. So that's what I produced. Um, but now, okay, so, uh, normally, I'd recommend, you know, if you're going to do something like that um, as an intro or stinger, do keep it to about five, six seconds uh, so you don't lose your audience. Now, I'm going to look at uh, overlays. So let's just go back to screen share. Um, and here we go. So as you can see, uh, incidentally, the backgrounds here, um, I can change these backgrounds just so you can see um, how that works, for example. Okay, um, I'm just gonna bring up Photoshop now. Um, so just to give you an example, I'm gonna just um, add in uh, an icon to sit in the top left-hand corner. So 
what I would might do is <clears throat> open up, let's say, my icon. So I'm just going to give you an example of we're going to create a PNG file so that um, just the icon will sit in the top corner. Uh, so what we'll do in Photoshop here is duplicate the file. So you can see here we just duplicated it and I'm going to size it down and then I'm going to crop it. Now, you can see in the top left here, um, it's already at 16.9. That's video format. So I'm going to go, OK, let's crop at that. And then I'm just going to uh, crop outside of this. And because I want my icon to be small and in the top corner, let's say uh, like so. OK, we're happy with that. Um, all I need to do now is turn off my bottom layer. And now I've got a transparent background. Um, I need to make sure because I've stretched it out, uh, my file um, pixel width is not too large. So I'm going to change that to uh, 1080, um, 300 resolution, fine. It's going to be high quality. And click OK. That's just going to resize. And there's my file. And now I'm going to just save as and uh, save it as a PNG file. Uh, I've already done that. So all I need to do now is over where it says overlay on the right hand side of the software is click the add button. And that will bring up um, your folders so you can navigate to your folder. Here I've got icon overlay and I'm going to open that. And that's now sitting in there. Um, to give you another example, one might want to um, be talking about a product, for example. So we, I've brought up this product here. So we can just say screenshot this. OK, and then we can go um, back into Photoshop. We could be uh, opening this file. And uh, so there's my screenshot. We can open this file. OK. So um, let's say for argument's sake, I'm just going to drop it onto uh, this document I've already got because I've already made it the right size. And um, I'm going to, so I already know that that width is 1080, 300 resolution, that's fine. There's my document. Um, I missed on my crop there slightly, so maybe we can, should we tidy that up? And uh, okay, yeah, we got rid of that bit. A uh, bit messy there, so being a bit of a perfectionist here for this tutorial. So let's go, okay, I'm gonna save that there. So then hit save as into this folder. And I just need to make sure I'm a PNG file. There we have it. And um, let's call this uh, lights. OK. Uh, and save that. OK. Um, now on the right hand side, let's add that in as well. So where is her lights? So click OK. And then that's now overed into my, uh, loaded into my overlays as well. So I'm just going to uh, stop sharing my screen. Here we are, back in the room. So let's have a look at that, what that looks like. So I literally will uh, click on the image in my overlay there. Uh, and so this is the 
icon. So now you can see up in the top left hand corner is the icon. I can hide it and put it back. So you can see that just up there, the icon. And then um, if I was doing a discussion around products, I could now click on that product icon and I would obviously clearly have to be moving myself to one side. And this, and then um, we could be talking about this product. And um, it just sits nicely in, in the image there. So that's how to use, um, pit, create and use PNG files um, within, within Restream to make it um, more engaging experience. So once you know how to do that and how to import it and how to uh, show it, uh, and you literally, you click on and off the image icon uh, under overlay, to, to, to show you that, display that, and you could have um, as many as you like in there. So once you've done that, um, you can have as much fun as you like. You can even be putting animated GIFs in there. And um, as long as you know where they're sat in the frame, um, you can do a trial offline just to make sure they're positioned in the right place, ready for your live stream. And that's it, you're ready to go. You're ready to have a ton of fun. A sky's your limit, imagination uh, is your limit. So uh, I hope you found that really useful. Go create. And uh, if you've enjoyed it, um, hit that subscribe button and please follow me. So thank you for watching.